Hey you guys, it's Teresa here with The Narc Remedy, and today's topic is going to be about does the narcissist regret what they did to you? But before we jump into it, I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video, you guys. Share, share, share the video so we can grow. And also hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I post new content like this. Let's begin. Okay, so you guys, does the narcissist regret what they did to you? Yeah, for a split second. In the moment. But not like what you think, you guys. They only regret the part where, hey, I did something that could potentially lose this supply, lose possession over this person, lose control over this person. But the actual act itself, you guys, they can care less. They don't regret what they did. They're only trying to save this supply or potential supply. They go in what's called a panic mode, a survival mode. A lot of these narcs live with you guys, so they're not finna, you know, lose where they live, you guys. So they're gonna say everything, do everything they can to keep from losing the supply, not you, the supply. So what they do is they'll say, Quick, what do I do? Uh, I messed up that, you know, could potentially lose this supply. What do I do? I know. Blame deflect. You guys, when narcissists go into blame deflecting, it allows them to not feel guilty anymore. Okay? It's like being on the spectrum of guilt and remorse. Like, you feel the guilt, but then it clicks off. And you don't feel it anymore. So really, you never really feel gu guilty. They do this as a self-defense mechanism, you guys. Um, it's just easier to blame everybody else for when things go wrong. Y'all know how hard it is to be unpleasant to somebody, to wrong somebody, and then sit in it? That is really difficult to do. Not even normal people want to do this. And that's not only narcissists, y'all. <laughs> Here's an example for, for um, blame deflecting or what people call projecting. Um, let's see. Got one. Um, the ex narc that I was dealing with at the time, he bought a truck for me to drive and him to drive the kids around or do whatever family outings family errands we had to do right so one time i had got the truck now i know the truck was kind of acting up a little bit but i didn't think too much about it um i was driving the truck and it overheated so me being a woman i don't know how you know cars work or if they overheat or whatever I don't know what to do on the road right so I immediately called the narcissist now my dad is a mechanic I should have called my dad but immediately I called the narcissist at first he's like oh you know um it's okay or whatever right but immediately he's like I told you not to drive the truck I told you that it overheats. No, no, I, I don't even know it overheats, you guys. I don't even, because I don't have the truck, right? He has it most of the time. Um, You you knew it overheats, and see, I should have told you not to even drive it today, and you're the reason why we have to get another truck, and blah, blah, blah. So he instantly acknowledged that he was at guilt for it, because he usually drives the truck all the time, but he instantly blame deflecting and said hey it's your fault the reason why the truck is messed up so that's an example of blame deflecting they know the guilt exists and they know the guilt should be put on them but immediately they will gaslight us and they will put the blame off on us you guys in their minds we're the reason why they did what they did okay I'm the reason why he yelled at me, because the truck didn't work. 
How was I supposed to know no truck didn't work? And this is where it gets deep, you guys, because when a person constantly blames you for everything over and over and over, you start to think it's you. You're the problem. You develop low self-esteem. Your cognitive dissonance is questionable. And whenever the narcissist does discard you or you're forced to discard them, you're the blame for it. You're going to feel unworthy of a good relationship, you guys. Because you're going to think every time you get in a new relationship, you're going to be the blame for the new relationship. So that's why the narcissist have you thinking, oh, you're not going to get no better than me. You're not going to find no better than me. I'm the best thing that happened to you. So you're thinking, okay, well, if you're the best thing that happened to me and I'm not going to find any better, then why leave you then? And that right there, you guys, that's what makes us stay with the narcissist even longer. Because we don't think we can get better. We don't think we're worthy of better. Because we've been programmed to think we can't. Whole time, it's a big old trick to get the guilt off of them for treating us nasty. See how they work out? They can take the blame for a split second and then blame you. They feel guilty for a split second and then blame you for everything. You have no clue what's going on, but you've been blamed. You're the problem. You're the reason why it happened. They don't have that capacity to really fully be guilty of something like we do, you guys. Like, to really feel bad. They have no shame. <laughs> Where there's no shame, there's no guilt. So, you guys, if you like this content, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video, you guys, so we can grow. And also put your post notification bells on so you guys can be notified every time I post new content like this. See you in the next one.